Okay, so I think I actually prefer this game over Virtual Fighter now, and that's quite contrary to my top 10, and I understand that, but hey, things evolve, so. I just think this game's got a little bit more speed and flow, and the armor's great too. It's very similar to Virtual Fighter 2, but the armor alters the gameplay a little bit. You have to plan your strategies and combos, otherwise all your moves will just get blocked. Also, once the armor's been hit off, you really need to go for those areas, because you'll do a lot more damage in those areas. It makes the game a lot more interesting, and visually it's great. You've got eight characters, all with their own sorts of armor and different sorts of stuff, it's great. But realistically, we don't play this version of the game a lot, because we've also got this next version of the game, which has all of the Fighting Vipers characters and all of the Virtua Fighter 2 characters. Now this hybrid pack wasn't released until 997 here in Australia, and by then the Saturn was already on its dive. But this is a great game for any fan of the Saturn. It's just loaded full of nostalgia and showed off everything that was good about the console and to some extent a few hints to where gaming was going. With a choice of four courses to begin with and the ability to unlock five more, it's similar to battle missions like on Soul Calibur. And speaking of which, Mega Mix Orza has team battle where you choose six fighters and take on another six fighters all in one hit and training, where you can practice your moves and go through them one by one. It also has survival mode, plus with the ability to switch between two different modes of gameplay, it's open for a lot of variation. Mostly the game is a mix of Fighting Vipers and Virtual Fighter 2, but there's loads of packed in unlockables and extras, like the ability to play as Janet from Virtual Cop. She's awesome and firing the gun rocks Fire! or even the car from Daytona plus tons more but probably the favorite novelty unlockable is the Mexican bean he's got lots of moves and when you knock off his hat you get the Sega Saturn logo check it out Fight! Ready, go! So there is six, count them, six fighters to pad out your Sega Saturn collection with. All A and 2, all deliciously fun. Really good fast paced action. These are really good fighters. All the way from one through to the other games and stuff that all came out, that they all have innovations through every release and they're all really fun to play and it doesn't matter if you go back it's not taking stuff away because even with the less innovations in the earlier games they're still great games the Sega control pad was pretty good the Saturn control pad when it came to fighters um, there were two models one with the round D pad and one with a cross D pad the we round D-pad's heaps better. See, but I think the cross D-pad heaps better, so each to their own on that. Um, also, I've got to say, the as far as the 3D controller, when you're using the digital pad, it's pretty good too. Mm. Um, Overall, I liked Remix the best. Remix, eh? Yeah. 
It's definitely the best. You mean Mega Mix or Remix? Mega Mix. Yeah, I thought he meant Mega Mix. <laughs> I'm always getting him mixed up. We've got so many fighters on Remix these was, words. yeah, Remix was part one. Mm. It was like 1.1, 1. 1, you know, yeah. a redone one. And look, this really goes to show, like, this is actually um, a bit of a sin saying this after my top ten, but it just goes to show the more games we get and the more games we play, you know, our preferences change. So. Not just that too, but we're just smacking ourselves into five different Virtua Fighters this week. And the reason why this level, this mm. episode is so late is because these games are very, very challenging. And mm. if you want to get, you know, a decent score and give you a good review, then you have to wait because we have to get through them first, you know. And there's a challenge for you. Clock, um, clock Mega Mix in a day. <laughs> My thumb was so soft. Sorry for it. Anyway, so that's all we've pretty much got time for this week. Thank you very much for all the views and subscribers that we've got in the last couple of weeks. Um, it's been really good just knowing that there's people out there Thumbs watching up. what we're doing and appreciating. Yeah, we're, we've been really excited uh, in these last couple of weeks as things have started to really take off here. Um, check out the website as always and hey, if you're not a subscriber and you're looking for a new Sega show to watch, then... Thanks, guys. We'll see you next week. Take care.